How is it going, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Dave with Smoky Mountain Pepper Co. Uh, got some new toys here, and I thought this would be a cool video to share. So, ended up getting this Easy Clone system. It's a 16 site um, cloning, I guess you, you could say hydroponic cloner. And uh, it's pretty cool. Typically in the past I've used, um, you know, just solo cups and, I've, you know, dip my cuttings into the dry um, cloning mix and I've had pretty good success with, with that alone. Um, I've also done just a cup of water um, and that works, that works well too, but they had this at the local hydroponic store when I needed to go get some nutrients, so I figured we'd give it a shot. So, like the name, it was actually pretty easy to set up. Uh, you got your pump, the basin, which is the bottom, the lid, and the uh, little neoprene inserts where you can put your cuttings in. This is, uh, this is me just kind of taking a look at their uh, recommendations. And what it what it was calling for um, is you want to aim for a 5.8 pH and 250 ppm on your nutrients. So, and then uh, instead of using the cloning powder, um, Easy Clone has its own cloning gel. So I'm putting the gel in there in the basin, and then. Adding some, uh, I just used my Fox Farm Grow Big, but since that gel is real thick, I ended up kicking on the pump here, just so I can mix that in a little bit. Uh, pretty sweet. You can actually fill on the top tray. The, uh, the water just kind of hitting the uh, hitting the bottom of those neoprene inserts. I'm checking for coverage, making sure that everything is in fact going to hit all the cuttings, and it uh, it did. I pulled the pump, making sure there's nothing clogging it, and then uh, setting it off to the side so I can pour the nutrients in and mix that in. This is kind of the tedious part, but I figured it was important to kind of include it because this is, uh, if you skip this part, um, you're not going to have very great success. Um, as you know, water and water and nutrients are pretty, pretty critical along with setting your pH um, anytime you're growing anything in, indoors. Um, I will say as an added note too, um, I do use RO, which is my little RO system right there that pumps into that trash can. If you don't have an RO and you wanted to try this thing, um, I saw a video from the uh, manufacturer and they were mixing RO with, with tap water, so they, uh, they don't seem to be too worried about it. With ground peppers though, they're just real finicky, so um, if you could just go with bottled water, um, you're not going to have to change this water out very often, maybe once every you know, month and a half. Uh, you don't have to, one thing that is cool about this is because it is not a see-through plastic, you don't have to worry as much about algae. Here in about another minute or so, um, I actually show you when we pull the top off after after about three weeks. Here I'm using the Blue Lab Truncheon. It's a pretty sweet way to check your nutrients down to the parts per million. One of the notable issues I did have when I was putting this together uh, is I actually dropped the the manifold and 
bounced right on one of the nozzles and snapped the nozzles and it does not come with extra nozzles. So there is that. Just don't be a klutz when you're putting yours together. It's a little, little, little bit on the noisy side but not too bad if, uh, if you're like me and it's gonna be in the garage anyways or uh, in a room that you have dedicated. So here we are after about two and a half weeks. I was lucky enough to get, get my wife to camera work here and some of these were added recently and some of the cuttings I had added uh, I only did like probably two or three cuttings right when I put this together you can see the water is relatively clear it's hard to tell with all the bubbles from the nutrients and you get that little bit of algae just on the corner of the lid um, where the lights able to get through little Carolina Reaper right here. I wasn't sure if this small cutting was going to make it and it's it had no leaves at all on it and it's uh you can tell it wants to grow. So I'll probably wait till those roots are about another half inch or so and then uh, transplant it. Plugged it back in that way you guys can see the spray pattern how it hits the neoprene inserts. All in all, a fun little system. As far as the verdict, is it faster? It is a little bit faster. Um, this first run, only about two of those cuttings, I started right after I put it together. Currently, I just added uh, the rest of the cuttings that you see here. So maybe I'll do a little update um, after a couple of months of using it. But all in all, it's pretty cool. It works pretty well. You can tell it's quality built and uh, no, no regrets on, on my end. And if you guys would like to see an update video, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, take it easy and we'll catch you on the next one.